looking for a new trailer at a used price tag? Well, basically you just found it. This is a 2013 Kodiak 263 RL SL here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Lightweight trailer, easy towing, nice length here. It fits in perfectly in basically any half tons pickup, uh, uh, you know, towing capacity. Uh, bigger SUVs also tow this one very easily. This is a member of uh, one of Thor's lightweight lines, the Kodiak here. Very nice look going on with it. It has the full dark skin, um, tan skin here with the, uh, I love the black trim package just to give it that great look. You see it has frameless windows all the way around. That's a newer advent to the towable RV industry. Um, the uh, nice part here is your seals are located under the window pane so the sun can't get to them and wear them out quite so easily. You have a huge, huge front pass-through storage on this thing. You see how big that door is. So if you use something other than just bag chairs, that, like if you use those nice Faulkner Zero Gravity chairs or just normal aluminum folding chairs, you can actually fit them sideways into that um, front storage box there. You don't have to try to store them inside the camper going down the road. Um, basically, these folks like this camper, liked it so much, they wanted to go camping more and decided, you know, if we're going to do this more, we want something even bigger. And they went all in. They traded this in on a, a, a larger RV. And uh, this is, you know, basically the, this is the RV equivalent of a used car with 5,000 miles. Somebody bought it, traded it back in. Um, you know, they knew that they had some depreciation loss trading something in that late model. And you just get a great deal as a result. Uh, power awning, power tongue jack, the idea being this is push button simple. Everything is uh, designed to make your camping experience as convenient and easy as possible. Does have uh, an enclosed underbelly, so that will help you with towing because it's smoother under there, less wind resistance, also helps keep critters out and whatnot. Big power awning. Notice it covers both entry doors. So you have this entire middle section here for room to put uh, your picnic table and stuff like that. Plus you can hop in either door to uh, quickly and easily access your interior, um, you know, no matter what the weather is. Now one thing I like about having that front entry door is if the slide is in and you're going down the road, it's very easy to hop inside, jump in the bathroom, hop back out if you need an emergency stop point. Um, the only thing I can say to take away from this trailer is they bumped the bumper once. That's it. That's the, I, I mean, just being fair, I can't find anything else wrong with it. I've looked. Uh, you know, it's all set up for a bumper mounted RVQ grill here. It has oversized downspouts to cut down on the, uh, the black streaks from uh, washing down your roofing. This is a great trailer. This is something that uh, these folks definitely never intended on trading out of quite so quickly. They just really love the RVing lifestyle and experience. They wanted to do it more and knew that they wanted uh, something with more space to accomplish that for them. So again, big rear living, lots of windows in here. You'll have scenic viewing all over the place. And again, with that big super slide, if someone's cooking in the kitchen, uh, you have lots of floor space. You're not going to bump into each other. Um, if you have guests, both the dinette and the sofa can fold into extra sleeping spaces as required. Uh, you notice that this table here is freestanding, so if you want to take it outside and use it like a, a picnic table, you can. You could fold it down over here and use it like a coffee or lounge table if you're so inclined. You know, look at your, uh, your fabrics and upholsteries here. Everything's in great shape. Nothing is wore out or scarred up where people use this thing real hard then want to swap out of it. That is not the case at all. These are good folks that took good care of their RV, again, with the intention of having it last them many more years. Just turns out that they said, well, hey, let's just go ahead and pull the trigger and get into something that we're really going to love. Um, pair of swivel rocking chairs back here, primary seating spaces. Again, take a look at your fabrics and upholstery. It's not torn up. This, if, if something was going to get worn out first, it would be these chairs back here. And you can see that's not the case. All of your windows... Um, our uh, pleated nightshades so that you do have more privacy in here. Countertops are upgraded to a, a solid surface style countertop. Um, you see even your sink is a stainless undermounted sink, a lot like you see in a big fifth wheel with very similar hardware in your kitchen space. If you've heard me say it once, I've said it a million times, I love it when I see owner's manuals come in with used RVs. It is a huge indicator to me. It tells me that these were folks that really took care of their stuff. They didn't misplace things. They kept everything where it belonged. You know, um, also I do like the skylight here above the kitchen. That's that's one of the things that's letting in so much ambient light and keeping it so bright in here. I also really enjoy the woodwork um, pattern on the flooring. Wood is just very warm and welcoming. You know, it's something I've always enjoyed seeing in RVs. Um, the uh, TV here mounted on the bias is genius because like if you're sitting here on the sofa, if you're just kicking back and relaxing, 
if you're sitting over here at the dinette, it, it doesn't matter. Everyone gets a good shot at the TV. Even the cook can just kind of peek their head over and see what's going on. Mounted right below the TV is the all-in-one stereo CD DVD player. It does connect to outside speakers. Uh, we do have central air in this, so it is going to be great all summer. Um, one thing I really like, and this is a lot of people say, yeah, there's not a lot of storage in the kitchen. Not true. They moved the pantry over here so that they could, uh, you know, give you the larger bathroom space. So you do still have a big pantry in this. It's just not in necessarily the location you would expect. Nothing wrong with that. Now, um, I personally, I don't get too worked up over the fact that the uh, previous owners uh, removed the standard mattress. They took out the stock mattress that came in this RV and had put in their own aftermarket mattress. They really liked their mattress and wanted something to, uh, they wanted to keep that with them. It doesn't really bother me because most of the time with used RVs, a lot of folks pull them out and throw them away anyway. So most of the time you're going to put your own mattress in there regardless. If you really, really need a mattress before this thing leaves, you let us know. I would be shocked if we don't make it happen for you. We are get it done kind of folks here at Haylitz. Little things like that are not uh, the type of things that stop us from putting deals together for you. That's why we're so successful. That's why we sell so many. That's why we're Michigan's largest independent RV dealer. Um, I do, and see the, the fact that they move that pantry is what allows us to have this standing fifth wheel style shower, not a travel trailer tub. And again, everything in here is in virtually new condition. I mean, it's, it's not scratched, it's not scarred, it doesn't show weathering, everything is really nice. Um, you're just going to save a lot of money on a basically new RV. Non-smoker, no pets, not that I can detect anyway. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.